have started doing now is a mood board. Um, so what I'll do is just a um, like a PowerPoint presentation. Um, and what I do is I just make the document, I pretty much make it and then show it to Stace so that we know that we're on the same page. Because we've done shoots before in the past where um, we have been thinking one thing, one person's been thinking one thing, the other person's been thinking something else. We've got the on the day of the shoot and then it's just like all gone out the window. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much what I do. Um, it shows um, the style of shots that we're after because it's so important that um, my vision is portrayed to Stace so that he can get the shots. Um, it's not as easy like for a photographer to just say, yeah, can you just take some photos of that? He needs to know whether um, we're taking product shots, so they need to be more close up images of the actual product or if they're lifestyle shots or, or just whatever. So um, the style of the shots, obviously the outfits that we're doing, the location is really important and just the overall look and theme that we're going for. So I'll show you guys um, what I do. This is the one that I've made up for our styling tips photo shoot. Um, it just basically shows the style of the shots, the location that we're going for, um, the looks that we're doing, what models we're using, and flat lays as well. Um, for me, it's so important to try the output, like the flat lays are really important, probably the most important thing for me, the flat lays and trying the outfit on the kids. Um, sometimes it's not possible when you're using um, models from somewhere else, but most of the time it's just our kids. So, because so often I have a vision in my head of what I want an outfit to look like, and as soon as I see it in a flat lay or see it on the child, it just doesn't work. I'm like, oh man, that's not what I imagined in my head. It's just kind of like when you're planning an outfit for yourself and you yeah, imagine it to look so different than what it actually looks like. Um, yeah, so very helpful doing this. Would never do another shoot without it. We learned the hard way with that one. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys what I've created here. So this is what we've got here. So this is our style of shots. I just pull all these images from either Instagram or um, Pinterest or whatever, Google. We've got our location ideas. And actually going back to the location ideas, sometimes it just doesn't work. Like. Um, you might go along to your location on the day and something's there that wasn't there when you last looked at it or there's cars parked all along there or something like that so you kind of have to have a few little plans up your sleeve. Outfit inspo, so these are just idea, like they're not exact looks that we were doing but just ideas like for instance Minnie was wearing some wide legged pants so I chucked that image in there, some fluffy slides, a layered tee look, Hendrix was wearing that. Flat lays, flat lays. Um, simple but very effective, very important and very helpful.